Hello! Hey everybody! Today, we are going to be watching the Pokemon Direct. Uh, there is a special 8-minute Pokemon Direct stream that's going to reveal something new. Potentially. All the information around this has led us to believe, based on, uh, I believe it was retweets from one of the higher-ups who works on the Pokemon games, implies that a mainline game would be announced. Now, Nintendo has a shiny new machine, the Nintendo Switch, and there have been rumors of a Pokemon game coming to it for, I feel like, over a year now. Back when the game was called, back when the system was called NX. Now, I need you to understand that that doesn't guarantee that that's going to happen. In fact, you fucking know by the time this video comes out, but I don't. And that's the problem. We're dealing with Nintendo. And even worse, we're dealing with the Pokemon Company. Two villains in my life. <laughs> because there is no guarantee on anything. <laughs> you see, Nintendo is a terrible company. Alright? They fuck up shit all the time. You think, oh man, they're going to finally make that game you want. That new F-Zero, that new Golden Sun, that new fucking... They're going to fucking give you all the games you want. And then they don't. No new Metroid. Nothing like that. They don't give that to you. They're going to give you Cranky Kong instead. That's what they're going to do. Even worse, we have the Pokemon Company. Who typically drag their feet when it comes to putting video games on brand new consoles. Usually waiting a year or two. And by the time they come out... It's an exciting time until you realize that the games run like shit. <laughs> I swear to God, if you watched my Pokemon Moon Let's Play, which I used on an original 3DS, that game ran like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> and really hampered the enjoyment of it. But the hope, because people have gone into Sun and Moon, seen that there are HD assets and walking animations for these Pokemon and all this other stuff. There's a potential for a Pokemon Switch game. So here's how this is going to work. We're going to watch this, and if there's no Switch confirmation, and it's instead an exclusive 3DS title of a mainline game, I'm going to bitch. <laughs> However, if it says something for Switch, and it's a mainline game, then good. I don't care. They could just fucking shit in my mouth. I'd be fine with it. This is an eight minute thing. I'm not expecting anything concrete in terms of trailers or... Or anything like that, because the Pokemon Sun and Moon reveal was fucking awful. <laughs> but... Just want to know where I can play it. And whether I can play it on a real system and not the fucking 3DS. 3DS is old. I have this expensive machine here. Let me use it. It should be starting now, though. Ah, here we go. Don't fuck me! Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Hello. Pokemon Company. Today, I'll be delivering the latest news about Pokemon from our offices. Okay. Oh! Many of you know, Nintendo launched its new system, Don't fuck Nintendo me. Switch, Don't on fuck March 3rd. Me. Don't fuck me! You may even be playing some games on your own Nintendo Don't you Switch fuck game. me! Don't you do it! And now, finally, we are excited to announce a Pokemon game for the system. Okay, we're not clear yet! The title on Nintendo Switch will be the Pokemon fighting game. Pokemon ah, we've been Deluxe. fucked! We've been denied! ...to showcase the game. Please take a look. We're getting fucked right now! My silence is in resistance. Shut up with your fucking your pop music. I ain't listen to this. I don't need to listen to this. It might get copyright claim. <laughs> you bastards. Mm. 
The world bleeds. Because <laughs> you know what I wanted to do? You know what I wanted for my Switch was... I wanted to play... The, um... I wanted to play the Wii U game that they released that bombed. Um, in addition to... A game they got absolutely no post-launch support, even though there were like three or four fucking characters in the arcades for it, but they just refused to update it because it didn't sell enough. <laughs> so it gets me real excited to be like, yo, I'm definitely going to jump on that train. This is also known as the, man, what's the easiest thing we can throw out there? This is an eight minute direct. It's only going to be this. It's gonna be this. I can feel the one-two punch in my heart, guys. It's gonna be this. And they're gonna announce a fucking Pokemon game. A real one. They're gonna announce, like, here's our third version of the next one of Sun and Moon. Or here's our sequel to fucking... It's gonna be 3DS... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> This ain't a bit. I'm fucking losing it right now. This company's gonna make me fucking die. I see Twitter flashing. I see some decidual I confirmed for this. Fucking great. Good. Good. At least they know what good starter is. Oh man, this man's like, brother, I have jumped to the mountains. We need to fucking... Did you hear? They're not making a mainline Pokemon game for the Switch. Those kids are excited for their gifts till they realize what it is. They're playing 3DSs right now. Hey, let me hook up the Switch. He's like, is this the new mainline Pokemon game? He's like, no, it's not. It's worse. <laughs> it's the longest trailer ever. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. These new oh, is this a new Pokemon game? Oh, it looks like a new Pokemon game to me. Oh, Zekrom's fusing with the legendaries. That's real great. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh. Pokemon Tournament Deluxe takes full advantage of Good. a variety of gameplay modes made possible by Nintendo Switch. Good. You can, of course, connect your console to a TV to enjoy dynamic oh. Pokemon battles on a larger screen. Or if you want, Good. you can play in tabletop mode, share one of your Joy-Con with another player, Great. and dive into a match anytime, anywhere. In the Wii U version of Pokémon Tournament, players could choose from 16 playable Pokémon. Yeah. In addition they to could. those, the Nintendo Switch version will include Darkrai, Scizor, yeah, Empoleon, yeah, and Krogunk, as well as Decidueye from Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon for a total of five new playable Pokemon. If we go by the, if I go by what I know, I'm pretty sure that, the, you can the enjoy first four of those five characters were already as well out as online ranked in, matches in Japan. and friend only group matches in arcades. We're really giving it the They're really they're really treatment. pushing it on this fucking Pokémon Tournament Deluxe <laughs> will launch on September 22nd. <laughs> Starting on June 13th in LA, well, this year's E3, one of the world's largest gaming conventions, we will have a playable demo for you to enjoy at the show. We're also planning on including this title on Nintendo Treehouse Live. Oh, addition, good. The game will be featured in its they can own waste some of my time on E3 too. E3 with as an on stage event, which we're live streaming right from the show fucking floor. So please look forward right, to it. Yeah. As for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, which we announced in that new trailer just a few moments ago, I would like to pass it on to someone who can tell you more about it. Can you please? I'll give you one chance. Hello everyone, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. I'd like to introduce you to the latest installments of the Pokemon series for the Nintendo Don't you fuck this up, you goblin! Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. These games offer an alternate story taking place in the world of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, featuring Pokemon that didn't appear in the original versions. New features will allow you to enjoy your adventure even more, making this truly an ultra. Hey, they look cool. 
Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon will see a simultaneous global release on the Nintendo 3DS Family We got fucked again! On November 17th. Please That's stay tuned it. for more information. 3DS only. I have one more announcement for you. This fall, we'll release Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver oh, version <laughs> for the virtual console service on Nintendo. <laughs> Pokemon Gold version. I'm sorry. Maybe I should maybe I should be a bit more mature here. All you you gave us there's a brand new machine. And I just have this expectation that when when Nintendo releases their greatest and their 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 newest product, when they when they start the next generation of their video game, I I expect generally that they would I would expect that we'll be hard at work on Pokémon Tournament Deluxe for Nintendo. Oh fucking god! I I just I wanted to give you a chance. Pokémon Gold version and Pokémon Silver version for the Nintendo 3DS. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, bow, bow and fucking kill. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. It. All right. I just have this expectation that when you when you announce and create a brand new machine, brand new machine, brand new system, like say PlayStation 2 becomes a PlayStation 3, you know what I expect? I expect the studios that that are so intrinsically linked with you that are known as these flagship studios go what I need to do is I need to start developing a game for that machine. It's like, all right, cool, 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 cool. And now we look, and what have they brought us? Pokin Tournament DX. All right, what new content that was made for the Switch have they added to this game? One character. I don't want anybody to go out there and say, they added five characters to fucking Pokin. No, they didn't. As far as this announcement has revealed to us, they have revealed one new character. Four of them were in the arcades that they could have released as DLC, but they refused. Instead, so in the end, they have announced a, a, a port of a game that I guess underperformed. But they brought it over here, and now they're just gonna bring over the arcade content they should have brought over. So we're gonna get excited. Now, you see, I'm usually not this mean. I'm usually not this, like, oh, you just grabbing this. But you see, Nintendo and the Pokemon come, they're a soft spot. Because sometimes I don't wanna be fucked over! Sometimes I want to love you. I want to sit here and be like, yeah, I'm going to buy this thing day one. I'm going to get excited. I'm tired of playing on the 3DS. You motherfuckers can't even make the game run at a decent frame rate. If you release a game for the 3DS and it runs at 10 frames a second during most battles you throw at me, that's a problem. And that's what happens whenever I'm playing Pokemon. Just... Getting thrown to double battles, getting thrown into Z moves or special moves that fucking tank the frame rate on a game that already doesn't even look that great, you know? That doesn't make me excited for this new Pokemon game. So the fact that, in the end, all these rumors about this third version of Pokemon Sun and Moon not being real and instead it's a, um, a sequel to Pokemon Sun and Moon or a, you know, alternate version of it so they can reuse assets and stuff, which, go ahead, do have at it, Hoss. Fucking, you're gonna do that, and it's for the 3DS only. I say to you, fuck you. Will I buy it? Fucking, I don't know. Oh, I... Uh, I really don't know. They'll give us a Pokemon game eventually. Man, when they do, then they'll be, res uh, you know, deserving of some respect. Maybe at E3, the big boys... The respectable big boys will bring me something worth being excited about. Not Pokemon, though. Nah.